Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about one of the most prominent tech companies in the world, which is Netflix. And what a lot of people don't know about Netflix is that for a really long time, they only hired experienced engineers. So for whatever reason, they didn't like new grads. But that means today I'm super lucky to be sitting with one of their first new grad hires ever, and she's going to tell us how she got in. So yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So I'm Elisa. I study computer science here at CMU uh, with a minor in stats on the side. And I'm currently completing my last semester here at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm from Seattle. Awesome. So let's get right into it. Um, let's talk about the resume you applied to Netflix with. So what kind of experience did you have on that? Yeah. So on my resume, I have two Microsoft internships, um, one for Explorer and one for SWE. Mm -hmm. um, and I returned. I took a return offer, so I returned to the same team. Mm -hmm. And then for my last internship, I interned at Niantic, uh, the Pokemon Go company. <laughs> well, sometimes, sometimes I need a John memory. Yeah, yeah. Um, which, but primarily, like I was on their augmented reality team. Nice. After I took our intro CS course, which is 112, I immediately started TAing. Nice. So uh, I TA'd for um, up to application season, which was five semesters. And I wow. was. <laughs> That's a really long time. It's a very long time. Yeah. Um, and I head TA or lead TA two of them. Mm -hmm. In terms of my projects, um, was my 112 term project mm -hmm. <laughs> is essentially um, sort of along the same teaching lines. So I made something called Vim Tutor. Mm -hmm. um, like Vim is notoriously like hard to use, but once you learn how to use it, you become really fast. Apparently, I'm not there yet, but my project was to create a Vim tutor, sort of like a series of mini games um, to like help this muscle memory of like pressing HJKL. It was coded in Python. It wasn't the greatest, mm -hmm. but that was something I devoted a lot of time into. Um, I also like this is also like like bearing fruits from another class. Mm -hmm. um, and that was like a spreadsheet project from like 17 through 13. That's just like my experience in working on a team. I didn't advertise it as like, oh, this is a project I work on, mm -hmm. but this was like a project where I worked with other people. I didn't really go out of my way to like work beyond like like school hours to work, like develop my own projects. I know some people make their own apps and their own websites. Mm -hmm. I just had those two products from my um, from my classes. Um, and then in terms of coursework, I did the regular old coursework that mm -hmm. comes with being like computer science at CMU. The courses I thought helped the most was like, <laughs> Not gonna lie, none of the math classes. Mm -hmm. um, but 122, 112, 213, um, 210. Um, one thing that I wish I had on my resume was distributed, and I think I'll talk about that more later. Mm -hmm. um, but distributed, I at that point, databases was also on my resume, which is a systems class. Mm -hmm. um, so those were like, that's sort of like a general rundown of my resume. I guess you can pull this up on your phone, but mm -hmm. walk me through like the dates of every step along the way. Yes. So yeah, when did you apply? Um, when did you do your code signal? When did you do your interview and stuff like that? Yeah, I applied early, uh -huh. which was September 9. Uh -huh. um, they gave me a code signal like a w less than a week later mm -hmm. on September 15. Mm -hmm. So I was given it September 15. I took it September 21. Um, in which I received an 845. Mm -hmm. So they give you four questions. The first one's usually like a free for all. Mm -hmm. And then there's a second question, third question, fourth question. The third question is like very tedious and you spend a lot of time on it. The fourth one is the most alg algorithmically complex. And the second one is like a little bit easier or a little harder than the first one. Mm -hmm. But it's a combination of how fast you do it, right. how many points you get on each question. Yeah. And I believe they weight the problems, like they weight the third and fourth problems the most. Right. There's like a whole paper on how the scoring works. It's really weird but at least they tell you up front like how they score you yeah so, so that was the code signal mm -hmm. i took it september 21 and then i assumed that i got a first round interview september 27 so i did the first round there um on october 3rd mm -hmm. honestly i don't know if it's a monday you can fact check me but okay, no uh, yeah, <laughs> october 3rd 2022 <laughs> was a monday in my eyes uh -huh. Um, so I interviewed then, I'll talk about like my questions later. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the final round, so I received the email October 5th mm -hmm. and the interviewers, the interview was supposed to all be in one day. And I remember during this point, I, um, I got my return offer for Niantic mm -hmm. and I was like really stressed that I would be, wouldn't be able to like, um, complete this interview stage mm -hmm. or this interview process before the deadline in Niantic. So I scheduled during fall break and that was 15 days later on October 20. Mm -hmm. Um, and the interview was supposed to be all one day. Mm -hmm. um, it's a like, it was supposed to be a back to back to back interview. Mm -hmm. 
So three interviews? Yeah, three interviews. Uh -huh. um, there's a technical, a system design, um, and uh, behavioral with the hiring manager. My, all my interviews was with you one day on October 20. And then the technical got rescheduled to October 28. And at that point, I was so stressed uh -huh. because the like, ticking time bomb of an offer was waiting for me. Yeah. And then they got back to me relatively quickly. Like, which again, surprising. They got back to me really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, after I finished my technical on October 28, they got back to me on November 2nd, mm -hmm. um, saying that I got an offer. So that was like the general process. Nice. Um, That's really of, fast, actually. No, yeah, it was. It started January January 9 and all the way to November 2nd and September 9. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> September 9. Yeah, it didn't take 10 months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some complications. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. I'm also curious about like the kinds of questions you got for your interview. So like, you yeah. can share as much as you want, but maybe it helps to discuss like the kinds of strategies or data structures you have to use and how difficult the problems were. Mm, yeah. So I think like I did a little research on the the not Microsoft, the Netflix interviews, mm -hmm. and like they were kind of given an analogy, not to like take a jab at a company, but they're the reverse of Facebook. Uh -huh. In that Facebook just like dishes you like the problems and like um, they're very like algorithmic com complex yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But they just want to test you like do you know your breath first search right. and that kind of stuff I agree, yeah <laughs> But Netflix on the other hand like prided itself on like oh like is this um, Is this practical? Mm -hmm. Like they gave you practical problems So my first problem it was a what was branded a code hard um, But it was a little bit watered down to fit within the time constraints. Okay. The thing that took me by surprise and really drilled into my mind that, oh, these are practical problems, uh -huh. was that the fall questions um, he asked me like were very, very practical. Like, um, I used, it was a <laughs> so I used a dictionary. Mm -hmm. I, I code in Python because why not? Mm -hmm. um, and because they, 112, you mean? You, oh, because, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Not why not, 112. Yeah. Um, and they asked me, or he asked me like, how do you design a hash table? But at that point, I was also taking databases and we just learned extendable hash tables. Nice. And I just okay. implemented extendable hash tables. So I'm like, wow. bro, I got you. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but these questions about how to implement a hash table and like how to handle adding other bucket, like what's the best way you would rehash? Right. And like those like questions, I was like, dang. So that was like my first round. Mm -hmm. um, I, I particularly like, it was probably the hardest question I got. I. I wonder if it was like a weed out process. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but that was the first problem I got. Mm -hmm. And I would also say that was the most challenging one I got. Gotcha. Um, and the final round, final round, they have like, like it was your classic sorting problem, but then um, my interviewer, she flavored, add some spice in there and how would you like modify your code to do this? Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the system design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is when I said I wish I took distributed because I've never ever done system design in my life. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at like I was only going like what are some system design problems and like they all like did your like oh implement a browser and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I was hit with a like very high level um, problem. Like the reason why I felt like I failed is because. Like he was talking a lot. Mm -hmm. Like he was saying like, oh, but what about this? And I was like, maybe I should have thought about that. <laughs> uh -huh. Or like, maybe your design was better. But I think the one thing, like if I were to like be hyper analytical, that the one thing that saved me uh -huh. was that I didn't bend to my homie in fear. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, because you're the interviewer, you must be right. Yeah. Like I didn't just fold. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mostly folded, but I folded with like reasoning uh -huh. when I did fold. Mm -hmm. So I said, I pro con. Um, I pro con what he said is like, oh, why, why don't you consider this? And I was like, well, I was more thinking this. Mm -hmm. The benefits of yours would be blah, 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 blah. The cons of this would be blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I'd say mine. And then I'd analyze whether my way or their way is better. Mm -hmm. And oh, the last one was the final chat with the manager. Uh -huh. um, this is again like more of a fluid conversation. Something to know about Netflix is that their culture is super unique. Mm -hmm. But the questions I remember like being asked are um, like, the first one was, are you familiar with Netflix's culture? Mm. And I was like, yeah, of I am. Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course I am. Uh -huh. um, and like, they had me do a lot of critical thinking, like which one do you agree with mm. and which one do you disagree with? That's and I was like, I've never gone that. Yeah, yeah okay. I was scared. I was like, disagree with the culture. Uh -huh. Like I panicked because I was like, I thought I was supposed to agree with the culture. Uh -huh. um, regardless of those questions, I also like asked him a lot of questions. And like, th that's when I like, I mentioned this, but like, that got me really excited for the company. Nice. Um, yeah. Love like to see that. it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so now that you've been through it, um, yeah. and you've probably had time to like reflect a little bit, what kinds of prep would you say helped you the most? 
Uh, the classic cringe leak coding. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I hate saying just do leak code, but yeah. in reality, like it's necessary. You, yeah, it's necessary. You get really comfortable. Yeah. Um, with these problems, like mm-hmm. and or derivations of problems. Um, I would also say like culture decks front and back, like read them. Um, like I uh, this helped me a lot during the Microsoft interviews, and it helped me a lot during the Netflix interviews. Just like. Jotting down a couple of points of like what makes that company unique.、Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, it's like those questions saying like,、oh, "Why do you want to work at Netflix?" You know,、mm-hmm. and you don't want to give some like blanket cliche answer. Like, choose something that's unique. You know,、right. like like what specifically about this company、mm-hmm. um, do you want to like? Why do you want to work from there?、Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's how she got into Netflix as one of their first new grad software engineers. As always, hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.